our Beer Bang News. First on BBN, we have a story from Brazil. Mira, take it from here. Since 2017, over 50,000 Venezuelan refugees have escaped to Brazil as a result of hyperinflation and the political and humanitarian crises. But many find themselves in abusive situations with powerful businessmen and landowners. Brazil has experienced issues with economy, security problems, and investigations of corruption. Because of these issues, many of the Brazilians long for order and stability, which they believe will not be helped by the arrival of thousands of Venezuelan refugees. Over 4 million people have left Venezuela, searching for relief from lack of food and medicine under the rule of Nicolas Maduro. Over 50,000 Venezuelans have escaped to Brazil, and more than 800 refugees cross the northern border daily, starting in Pacaraima. Alvaro José Servin Morales, a 35-year-old electrical engineer from Ciudad Bolivar, is one of the refugees trying to find safety in Brazil with his wife and son. I have confidence we'll find work, he said, holding his son. It will be hard, but we have to make a better life for him. In February 2018, the federal government declared a state of emergency on the border, and the military and civil society are struggling to control and help the refugees. In Boa Vista, the capital of Roraima State, over 10,000 refugees have been camping in on sanitary plazas on the street, facing the threat of malaria. The refugees now make up more than 10% of the population. As more shelters open, more refugees arrive. Some face labor exploitation, laboring for farms and mines, many not even being paid. I see men leaving here at 6 in the morning, work 12 hours, and come back with nothing, said Donato Chavez a teacher who for weeks had been sleeping in the Simon Bolvar Plaza in Boa Vista. So, Bo, what's the news going on in Peru right now? Thank you, Mira. Peru is a country that has been suffering from a lot of government issues and corruptions since its start in 1821. The citizens feel the government has continuously been refusing to fill their needs, which includes making irrational decisions about laws in the past. It was recently decided that there is going to be various roads built throughout the Peruvian Amazon rainforest, one of the biggest attractions in all of Peru. When this is going to happen is to be determined soon, but some of the citizens are certainly not happy about it. These roads are going to go 172 miles through the Amazon rainforest. World Geography and Culture Online states that 680,000 acres of primary forest are at risk. The government is constantly being filled with new people bringing in new ideas that the citizens do not want. So make sure that if you ever su suggest something new in Peru, that you have people from different groups agreeing with you on it, or these responses could be the qu consequences. We'll keep you updated on these stories, so make sure to be ready for the latest news when it comes out. Thanks for listening.